Uh, now we're going to go over uh, taping of the ankle, certain components you need to have. Uh, first we're going to start off with heel and lace pads, put some goo on there to prevent some friction, blisters, I'm not going to do that for now. Uh, have them stay in a neutral position with their foot dorsiflexed or neutral 90 degrees. Pre-wrap, beginning at the base of the bulk of the calf muscle, wrapping all the way down however you want, just covering most of the area, the skin that's going to be taped to prevent irritation. And we cover this, and we begin with anchors. We apply two anchors on top around the leg, one ankle around the foot, being very careful, not putting a lot of pressure or tightness on that. You may just re get that out of there if you want. Don't have to use it if you don't want. From there, we put in stirrups from medial to lateral. Pull up hard on the lateral side because we want to prevent inversion, so we want to pull into eversion. We're going to apply three of these overlapping by about a half each one, medial to lateral. We'll just secure those so they don't move anywhere. Okay, so two anchors up top and one on the bottom. We've got three <coughs> stirrups. We're going to go with three horseshoes. These can go medial, lateral, lateral, medial, doesn't matter. They start at the base of the foot. Make sure you get down towards the heel, not up into that Achilles tendon. These again overlap by about half. We're going to apply three of those. So we have two anchors on top, anchor on the bottom, three stirrups, medial to lateral, and then three horseshoes. Now we apply two medial, two lateral heel locks along with two figure eights. They're going to look like this. We're going to start and stop in that same area. I'm just going to show you with this blue tape before I go on. A heel lock starts and stops right on the anterior part of the ankle. You see how it just wraps around the heel. There's nothing on the medial side. Can you bring that over on the medial side? So we just hook, it would be a medial heel lock going across the medial aspect of the heel. Medial heel lock, okay? We'll apply two of those medial heel locks, and it doesn't matter if you go around the, under the foot first or around the back of the leg first. We're just going to hook that medial aspect in. Start again, stop in the same area. We'll put on lateral heel locks. <clears throat> Again, very little on the lateral aspect except for right where we lock that heel in. See a lateral heel lock. Did you get the outside? I will finish those off. Again, we can go under the foot, around the heel, or around the heel and then under the foot. Like so. Can you hold your foot up there? There you go. Now we apply figure eights. Start and stop in the same spot. It doesn't matter if you go around the foot first or around the leg first. What we go around the leg, forming the top of the eight, and then around the foot, forming the bottom of the eight. That is your figure eight. We apply two of those. Around the leg, around the foot, or around the foot, around the leg. So now we have two anchors on the top, one on the bottom. We have three stirrups, three horseshoes, two medial heel locks, two lateral heel locks, two figure eights, and now we're just going to close any windows that are open or any areas of weak taping uh, where it may tear or they may get a blister. Once that is closed, you're done with taping the ankle.